Welcome to the great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And our topic today is, where have you been? Where have you been? People will ask you that question. Where have you been all that time? Because they will see the ways in, in the ways in which you walk. They will see your spirit and truth and your power and your glory that you receive from on high. They will see what you are doing in your neighborhoods, that you love God above all else and that you love your neighbor as yourself. They will see your light and they will be drawn to it. And they see, oh, you are different, different from the old church. You are different from the old ways. You are not a religious person. You are a person of the Holy Spirit. You are supernatural. You are the church. So the people will ask you all that time, where have you been? And you know exactly where you have been. You were in the wilderness. You were refined as gold in the fire. You have gone through many, many things. A strong training by the Lord to become his bride without spot and wrinkle. But now you are ready. Now you are ready to step out onto the, into the open, onto the narrow and righteous path for all to be seen. And people will ask, where have you been? And they will be drawn to your light. And you will tell them, proclaim the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on this new level. You will proclaim the gospel of the kingdom. And especially you will proclaim that the kingdom is here. The seal tribulation has started. The book of Revelation has opened. And now we are in the kingdom because the book of Revelation is about the kingdom of God. It is about the millennium. And it starts with the seal tribulation. The start is here now. Let your light shine forth in your homes, in your apartments, in your houses. Build home churches. Let us have 100 home churches started this year, 2020. Let us be the light for the Lord. Now it's the time to step out. Now it's the time to show yourself to the world because you're refined as gold in the fire and you are ready. Your training is over. Now it's the time to step out and do and practice what you have learned. And you have learned a lot. You know how to walk with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as his bride. And you know how it is to go with him wherever he goes. You are close to him. You talk to him every day. In prayer and otherwise. You have come out of religious spirits, out of bickering and out of fighting with others over Bible verses or opinions. You have come out of denominations, churches and religions. You have come out of the broad way and walked the narrow and righteous path. And now your light must shine wherever you are, so that it can gather the harvest so that the Lord can use you as a beacon in the darkness where he can send his lost sheep to, so that you can train and teach him in the same way as you were trained and taught by the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now it's your time to fulfill your purpose and destiny on earth, to win souls for the heavenly kingdom by doing and being an example, by doing the righteous deeds of the saints that will then finally give you the white garments. 
that are necessary to enter paradise at the rapture at the sixth seal. It's time to step out, to show yourself and say clearly, I am the church. I am the bride of Christ. I am a true son or daughter of the Most High. And I proclaim boldly the resurrection of Jesus. And I proclaim boldly the gospel of the kingdom. And I proclaim boldly that the kingdom is here. Our time has come, brothers and sisters, to show ourselves in power and in glory of the Most High. Our light will shine all over the world, in all, on all continents and in all nations, from Australia, Asia, Africa, Europe, to North and South America. Everywhere the beacons of light, the fortresses of light will be established in the houses and apartments of true followers of Christ, of true believers, who practice true religion, what is clearly defined in James. True religion is taking care of the widows, the orphans, the nameless and faceless. Let us be a strong force for the Lord and let us be the standard and banner that he is raising up against the darkness. And the people will come to you and ask you, where have you been? Thank you that you have listened to this topic and I hope that you get encouraged. And very soon we will start now live presentations, what will help me to interact with you much better. I'm very grateful that I can start more and more and work more and more with you. But remember, 2020 is our year, it's a year of triple grace, and this is your year too, to come together in love, unity and support, and to build the home churches, and to come together in a network in the commonwealth of God. So let us all bring all the people together in one unit, in a perfect way that the Lord always wanted to have. Let us restore a small paradise on earth with our home churches, with, this, with the dwelling places of Zion. Let us start and let us be shown and let our light shine into the darkness. If you're guided to sow and help Triple Grace to bring forth the hundred dwelling places in the world, then please go to the first pin comment, use PayPal, use pay Patreon, sign up, help, assist, support, share your resources as the first Christian have done. This is also something that we have to do. We have to share our resources. Is this either knowledge or is it financial? We have to share or any other property, we have to share because we will hold everything in one accord and we'll have all in common and we will share our resources and we will support one another and we will step forth in the glory of the Lord onto that narrow and righteous path. We are crossing the Red Sea right now and we are walking towards the holy mountain, Mount Zion. Thank you that you have listened. Please support, please help let us spread to the world. Let us be a force of the Lord in the darkness. Have a blessed day. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Maranatha.